What's happening guys? Thanks for tuning back into the channel today. Right here with me, Kyle, the Rust Belt Mechanic. We've got some cool tool stuff going on today. Hope you guys are having an awesome weekend. I know I've been slacking off just a little bit when it comes to the tool content here on the channel. I try to keep a nice even flow to the things that I give to you guys between trucks, tools, lifts, things like that. But I know I've been slacking off a little bit on the tools. Not really my fault. Things that I've ordered haven't come in yet or I'm just, you know, kind of fell through. But we'll get into a cool little tool haul for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoy. I know there are a whole bunch of other YouTube guys who get into showing you guys what it's like on the truck. It's not something that I'm really going to get into because that's something that they do. That's something that they are a big part of their channel and I'm going to leave that to them. I'm just going to show you guys the actual tools, what I do, what I get, and how the th stuff works. So not everything here is snap-on, but it's some really cool things that I replace some of my old stuff out with. First thing I come to is my Streamlight Stylus Pro. It is the longer five and a half inch Stylus Pro. It has nice LED light. I know it's kind of hard to tell, but I upgraded from a Milwaukee Stylus Pen Light. You can see the difference in those. Uh, this one's supposed to be about 60 lumens. This one's about 90 lumens, about 19 bucks, about 30 bucks on the Snap-on truck. So you guys can decide which ones you guys like. I was tired of pulling this one out of my pocket and having to squint down in that engine bay to see what the hell I was doing. So, that thing's junk. We don't want that anymore. We got this nice Stylus Pro from Streamlight. Like I said, it's about 30, 32 bucks on the Snap-on truck. I know you guys can probably get it elsewhere, but it was convenient. He had it for me, so that's what I got. Next is this nice long pick set. I do a lot of transmission things. Uh, when I need to get the clutches out from way down in those transmission cases, the things I usually use are long screwdrivers or, you know, magnets to try to pull these little clutches up out. These picks will help me tremendously, keep me from having to reach down in there with a magnet, slicing my hands up, you know, getting places where I don't need to get. These things will get down in there, help me pull those clutches up out with a whole lot better ease. I will get the part number in the description for those. Four piece set, couple longer, couple little shorter. They do have full hooks, little notch hooks for you all in all they're really great tools something if you guys are especially into transmissions that that will help you out tremendously the easiest little tool that i've had to buy in the last i don't know year or so is going to be this one i do some work on some diesel trucks and lately a whole lot on diesel pro masters the vans uh, issue that we've been having lately was with glow plugs these glow plugs will get seized up rust up need to get those out well the glow plugs if anybody knows are really long the nub the nub the tip on them is also really long so you have to have a longer socket to get down into there don't really want anything bigger than a quarter inch because if you put too much torque on it lose that feel you're going to snap the thing off you're going to have a really bad day so with the sockets that i've been using when you have the like the duramaxes and the fords they're like 10 and 12 millimeter sockets, so they're bigger, longer sockets. They're really easy to get in there. With the ProMasters, you have a lot less space. So I use a quarter inch. It's an eight millimeter socket, but I know they come out with these new fancy swivel eight millimeter deep sockets for the glow plugs specifically, but they don't really work that well. The swivel end doesn't really fit down into the space you need, and a standard snap-on socket actually has too much webbing in the middle. So I went with this blue point eight millimeter socket. I know everybody's probably got a set of these BLP LSM 148. You know, it's probably in everybody's socket set, but if you run into that one need of a glow plug and you're like, crap, my snap on socket doesn't work. 
downgrade to a $4.32 blue point socket and that'll get your job done. And the next thing to come to is going to be, I don't know if this is new or not, but they were running a promotion on it this week on the Snap-on truck. It is a new uh, circuit digital test light. Um, it is an LED one. And the new cool thing about these that I didn't know before, they probably had them out before, but I didn't know it, is they actually have a little digital meter built into them. So you can see here on the picture, it does have the nice like four foot cord. It's got the LED light that shines when you have a connected circuit. And then you can see that it actually shows the voltage of what you're testing. They come in I think three different colors. They come in black, green, orange, red, and the black version does not have the coiled cord to it. I don't really like the coiled cord. I think it's a pain in the butt. It gets caught on too many other things. This one seems to be a little bit longer. All in all, this is gonna be a really good test light. They ran a special, at least on my truck, where if you traded in an old test light, anything like that, it was gonna be like 10 or 15 bucks off. Or no, it was 20 bucks off, 20 bucks off. And you get this one. Uh, the original price on these is like 99 bucks, saved 20 bucks, you know, it was like 78, $79. So all in all, this is gonna be a really good addition to my electrical testing group. Last but not least, we come to our Blue Point Fluid Extractor. I know everybody's going to give me hell on this kind of thing, but I don't use this too often, and I'm not going to use it too often because usually the chances that you need this, you really should be doing a filter change instead of just extracting fluid and putting it back in. When it comes to transmissions or rear ends, transfer cases, you may not always have that option. One of the customers that we had had a really, really rusted car with quite a few transmission bolts that really weren't bolts anymore aside from big old piles of rust. So couldn't really get the transmission bolts off without having a really bad issue and spending a lot more time that the customer didn't have the money for. She still wanted her transmission fluid changed, so we went ahead and got this fluid extractor. You're able to have three different size hoses to fit whatever need you have the larger one, bigger one, and there's a medium one I have also. They adapt to it and this thing does extraction and it refills the system at the same time. There are graduated marks all the way up on the cylinder here and then there is a reverse little pivot thing right here in the middle. So when you have it pushed down, you're able to pump this and it's gonna pull a vacuum on the system so you don't have to sit here and pump the entire time. You only have to pump this about five or six times. It pulls a vacuum on the main part of the cylinder, which in turn will suction the fluid out for the entire system. You won't have to worry about that as long as the end is submerged in the fluid inside of the vehicle. This thing's gonna keep on sucking it out. Once you get it all sucked out, like I said, it does have the graduated parts where you can read how much you took out. There is a plug here in the very end that you're able to take out and drain your fluid out from here and reseal it so then you have a nice tight vacuum and then if you want to go ahead and if you're going to refill it you can put exactly how much you took out back into this thing with brand new fluid seal it back up switch over to pressure put this back in and again pump this like five or six times it's going to add pressure to the system and it's gonna push all of the fluid out without having to pump the whole time as well. I'll put the link down in the description. I think this was right around $200. It's a nice time-saving tool that you're gonna really want, especially when it comes to rear diffs, transfer cases, or that you know really rare occasion where you can't get a pan off or something along those lines, but you can still offer it to a custom to customer to be able to change their fluid. Like I said, nice, easy little tool haul that I had for you guys. Nothing really fantastic, breaking news, new on the market kind of things. I know Snap-on did come out with a lot of the newer colors when it comes to ratchets. In the new purple, blue, and high-vis colors, it's not really my style. I might get a blue one, but it's not the right blue. It's not like my Mopar blue. It's like, you know, a fairy teal blue. I, I don't know. Doesn't do it for me. Might do it for you guys, but not for me. So. That was the tool haul now on my little soapbox session. So if you guys like the tools and that's all you were here for, 
thanks for stopping by. But I know you guys that really tune into my channel know that I've got another toolbox on order. That toolbox I've had ordered for about 11 weeks now. When you get a toolbox and you order it through Snap-on, you're given a time frame of right between six to you know eight weeks, maybe 10 in some circumstances. My luck is not that good at all. I have shitty luck when it comes to toolboxes. This one, when I ordered this one a couple of years back, the side cart ended up being a little bit damaged. Three of my drawers ended up being damaged, had to replace three of those. That's how my luck goes, and it took 11 weeks to get here. This one, I've actually wanted and wanted to order this box 19 weeks ago. If you guys scroll all the way back to my uh, video where I did a review and a kind of little tour on the Rock and Roll Toolbox truck, that was about 19 weeks ago. That's when I originally wanted to order it. I kind of understand that one because my tool guy, he was taking this one in on trade for me and this is a whole lot of toolbox to trade in. Normally you guys don't get a whole lot of these larger toolboxes to trade in. He's given me a very large amount of money for it, so he wanted to make sure that he was going to get his investment back and try to find a buyer before he actually took this one back in on trade. I get that one. You know, it's a smart business thing on his end. Kind of frustrates the piss out of me, but I get it. Then, about ten and a half weeks ago, I was actually able to order it because we found somebody who wanted to buy this toolbox. Long story short, I was able to then order it for what I needed. And here we are, eleven weeks later. No toolbox, still sitting here. Last Wednesday, I got we got an email from Snap-on saying, your toolbox is ready, I guess it was a little before that, September 11th. September 11th was supposed to be, your toolbox is gonna be shipping out, it will be done then. Cool, awesome. Didn't get any email, didn't get any response then. After that point on the 11th, two days later, we get an email saying, okay, it's gonna be shipping out next Wednesday, the um, 20th. 20th is going to be shipping out and it's going to be you know a couple days in shipping you'll have it the next week next week comes a whole lot of nothing disappointment again get a finally finally talk to him again get another email saying your box is ready except for one of the cabinets isn't there so really after all this time that's what you're waiting on and you couldn't tell us that you could have just pushed it back, tell us when it's actually there and ready, and be done with it. Now, my tentative ship date on my new toolbox is going to be the 28th, which is this next Friday. And we got notif notified because uh, when you ship an Epic toolbox, it comes like all put together, and it comes via usually United or some of the bigger carriers, not just your standard uh, whatever UPS or whatever carrier they those those guys don't do it they carry you know more fancy shipping guys for these so they give us a notification that it could be one to two weeks delivery really one to two weeks delivery time for a toolbox from Alcona to Ohio come on if anybody from Snap-on's watching you guys better step up your game when it comes to the toolboxes building shipping delivering cuz it kinda sucks it's frustrating Frustrating as all hell to me, frustrating to my viewers who have been asking me, man, where's your new toolbox? Where's your new toolbox? It's coming. I promise. It's ordered. I'm not paying for it yet, but it's ordered. I need it. So, snap on. Get it to me. That's all the content that I have for you guys today. Sorry about the big old rant there at the end, but got to get it out somewhere and you guys are always awesome listeners and awesome viewers for me I just crossed 4,000 viewers we're a little over at 4,100 viewers right now something I never thought I was going to get to and it's a big thanks to you guys you're awesome and I couldn't have asked for a better crowd to be able to, to give you guys awesome content to make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe turn on that little bell notification to get notified when I come out with really new awesome content for you Thanks again. You guys stay awesome.